Hello, everyone. Welcome to Total Body Toning. Total Body Toning, we have three standing exercises we're going to start with, and we do them three rounds each. So the first exercise we're going to do is a reverse lunge today. So if you don't feel comfortable with doing this one, I always give a nice option of uh, doing squats. So if you don't feel comfortable, I'll show you the lunging in a second. If you don't want to do lunging, you can just do a set of squats. But lunging, what you can do is you can stand towards the wall, sideways to the wall, you can be in the middle of the room. You're going to stand up tall. So you're going to step back, nice long stride. You're going to just drop down a little bit. You can go more if you can go to the ground, or you can go very little if you want to keep it very simple. All right, so we're going to do the right leg stepping back only to start. Okay, so stand up nice and tall. Right leg only steps back, dropping down. Here we go. We're going to do 30 seconds on this leg with the right leg. Do it nice and slow. Again, you always can just do a set of squats if you don't feel comfortable with anything. If you don't feel comfortable with this. <sighs> Trying to keep this front knee nice and still. Two more. Last one. Okay, stand up. We're going to go to the other leg. Same idea, here we go. Three. We have two more. Last one. Good. And we're going to stand up. Okay. We're going to take one weight for the next one. We're going to do a bent over row today. So let's start with the right hand on this one. We're going to start with the right side again. You can use anything like a chair if you want to lean forward on that. You can use your leg. I'll use my leg today. You can use your hand or your forearm for a nice forward lean. So we have that nice forward lean. We pull up and down with the weight nice and slowly. Drag the elbow close to your side. This is a bent over row. This is a back exercise and a bicep exercise. Okay, so start with the right hand. Let's go left foot out in front. And here we go. Pull up. Yep, nice and easy. Slow up and smooth on the way down. This is another one, we're going to do 30 seconds on each arm. Last one. Okay, let's stand up. We're going to change hands. We're going to change the feet. Same idea. Take that nice forward lean. The more you can lean forward, the better. And here we go. Left arm, we're going to pull up and down nice and smooth. All right, keep going. Nice forward lean. Let's go two more. We'll stand up. I want you to grab a matching set of weights. Um, we're going to do a bicep exercise. You could probably go anywhere up to 8, 10 pounds maybe if you have it and you feel like challenging yourself. Um, we're going to do a balancing curling exercise. So what I want you to do is I want you to do a, a tandem balancing. That just means you're going to put one foot up in front of the other one. If you want it very hard with the balance, you put one directly in front of the other one. If you need it a little easier, you just step to the side a little bit with the foot. So you're not directly heel to toe, you're off to the side a tiny bit. So you're going to put one foot to one uh, the other foot right in front of each other. We're going to hammer curl up, which means we're going to turn the wrist and then just pull up like we're using a hammer. And we go up and down with the wings, okay? So here we go. Get one foot out in front of the other. doesn't matter which one. 
I don't want you to be so off balance that you have to flail around and swim your weights everywhere. So if that's the case, just step to the side a little bit with your foot. Good posture, eyes up. We're doing 30 seconds with this foot out in front. Last one. Okay, we're gonna take a second. We're gonna put the other foot out in front. Same idea, here we go. Try to keep your elbows nice and still, keep them down to your side so they don't move. Got three more. Last one. Okay, place those down. We have a reverse lunge. So we're going to do those those three exercises we just did. We're going to do them three times. So this will be round two. You can do lunging anywhere you want. I'm just going to do it next to a wall just for a little bit of support for me. You step back with each one. So we're reversing our lunge. Let's go with the right leg stepping back first. We'll go in three, two, one. Go ahead, you can always do squats if you want to just do a round of squats. We got two more. Last one. Okay, we're going to take a second and do the other leg. Other leg, here we go. Make sure you do it slowly. You got to keep the pressure off the joints. Don't do them quickly. We got one more to go. Okay, we'll stand all the way up. Second exercise, we have our bent over row. You're gonna grab one weight. This one you could definitely do a heavier weight if you got one. Uh, it's very safe if you feel like pushing yourself a little bit. Let's go right hand with the weight. That means we need the left foot out in front. We need the left arm up in front. We use that just to lean forward on. And then we pull up nice and smooth, elbow drags close to our side. Okay, so lean forward. And here we go. Good forward lean. Elbow pulls up nice and close. 30 seconds each arm. Yeah, five, four, three, two, here's your last one. All right, we're going to stand up tall. Let's we'll switch the weight over to the other hand. We'll change our foot stance. All right, so we get the right foot, right arm out in front with the weight in our left hand. And here we go. Nice smooth pattern. Try not to let the weight down really quickly. We want a smooth pull up, smooth let down. Last one. Good. All right, we need to grab a matching set of weights. We're gonna do our hammer curl and, ba and uh, balancer. So, you can put either foot out in front. Again, don't be so challenging on yourself that you have to throw your arms around with the weights in them. I want you to be off balance, but not to that point. So, if you feel like you're at that point, just step to the side a little with your front foot, and that's gonna stabilize your balance a little bit. So, pick either foot, put it out in front. Eyes up, good posture. Here we go, we do 30 second curls, hammer curls with the eyes up, one foot in front of the other. 
halfway through, we're going to change over to the other foot. So working on the balance, working on the biceps. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, let's put the other foot out in front. Here we go. Two more. Last one. Good. Okay. Third final round through. We're going to do the same exercise. Those three again. So. You can lose the weight. We have our lunging exercise or squats if you're going to do that as an alternative. We do a reverse lunge, meaning stepping backwards. Let's start with the right leg. So stand up nice and tall, eyes up. We're going to step back. Only go as deep as you feel comfortable. And then we come back up. Long stride back. Drop down a little. Back up. You can go all the way to the ground if you feel comfortable going to the ground with the knee. I'm not going to, but if you want to, you can. We got one more right here. Okay, we're up tall. We're gonna change the feet. Here we go. The last one right here. All right, we'll stand up. We have one single weight. This is a bent over row. Again, this is one we very, very safe, so you can challenge yourself if you want to do a little bit more. Okay, we're going to go right hand with the weight. We'll get the left foot out in front, our left arm out in front on that left leg. And nice forward lean. The more you can lean forward, the better. We get more back involved. And here we go. We're going to pull up nice and smooth. Yep, dragging the arm close to your side. You don't want the elbow to go out real wide. You want to keep it nice and close. Protect your shoulder. We do three more. Two more. Last ones. All right, we're going to stand up first, then we'll change hands with the weight. So we have the weight in the left hand, the right foot, right arm go out in front. Take another nice, good forward knee. And here we go. Pull up and down nice and easy. Three to go. Good. So we'll come back up. Ah, right, you can grab a matching set of weights. One foot goes out in front of the other one. We have the eyes up. This is going to be our hammer curl with one foot in front of the other. Step to the side if you need a little bit more balance. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Curl up. Now. We got four more. Three, two, one. All right, change feet. 
And here we go. Three to go. Two. Last one. Okay, you can place your weights down. You can have a drink if you would like one. We'll take 30 to 30 seconds to a minute break. We're, we're going to do three ground exercises for the second half of class. So we'd like to do three standing exercises and we do three ground exercises. So bring your weights with you when you come down to the ground. Today is a overhead pullover for the first one. So if you want to look up, I'll show you what that is. If you're not familiar, you're going to lie on your back. You have bent knees. You go straight up in the air with the weights. We click the weights together. We come slowly up overhead. And I pull all the way back to the top of my arms. And then we go back up overhead. So it's a very simple motion. You have to do this slowly. I'll keep you reminding it. Reminding it to that keeps the pressure off the shoulders. Okay, so lie on your back as far as weight goes. You could probably go up to about 10 pounds if you feel comfortable doing something a little heavier. But I'd say five pounds is about right for the average. Let's go straight up in the air with the weights. Click together. All right, slowly up overhead. Very slowly. If your arms are okay with going to the ground, you can go all the way to the ground with the arms. And then we pull back to the top. Back overhead with the arms. Back to the top. We're going to do a 45 second set. Do it nice and slowly so we keep the pressure low on the shoulders. You can also keep your core nice and tight so you get some core stabilization. We've got three to go. Yeah, maybe I'm to blame, going insane, maybe I can change, right? yeah. One more. Okay, bring the weights in, place those to the side. Next up we're going to do is you're going to lie on the side. I'm going to lie on my left side first, so why don't we do the left side first so your, your right leg is on top. We're going to do a hip exercise. So, I want to do just a very basic, simple sideline leg raise. So, you lie on your side. My hips are facing directly sideways. I'm not pointing up at the ceiling. Toes are facing forward. You just lift that leg up as high as you can. Bring it down slowly. We're just going to go up and down with that leg. Nothing crazy, okay? So, lie on your left side, right leg on top. And here we go. Lift it up. Bring it back down. And you can go as high as you can with the leg without having to point the toe towards the ceiling. You want to keep the toe pointing forward with your body. So we can keep that pressure on that outside hip. We have two more. Last one. Good. All right, let's go to the other side so you can roll face the other way so your left leg is on top. Left leg's on top. We have the hips and the toes facing forward, not towards the ceiling. And here we go. Lift it up as high as you can. Back down nice and easy. Again, go as high as you can with the leg without having to point the toe up. You want to keep it facing forward with your body. Three, two more. Last one. Okay, relax that leg. Last one we're going to do is going to require you to lie on your back. This is going to be a dead bug. Dead bug. 
If you're not familiar with what a dead bug is, I'll show you right now. We're going to start lying on the back. We pull the legs up in the air. All right, you have bent knees, but the legs are going to be up off the ground. Arms go straight up in the air. You're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg extension. So I'm going to extend my arm on my leg, opposites. I'm going to pull back to the top. And I'm going to do the other one, nice and slow. And then back to the top. So we're just alternating arms and legs, and we go back and forth. Let's go in about five seconds. So lie on your back, let's pull the legs up off the ground. You can have bent knees, arms go straight up in the air. And here we go, slowly. Yep, if you can fully extend out, great. If you don't think you're quite there, you don't have to go all the way out with your arm and your leg. You can keep it a little shorter. This one we're going to do for 40 seconds. Keep the pace slow. 10 seconds to go. Here's our last one. Good. All right, you're going to stay lying in your back. We're going to grab our set of weights again. You can bring the weights right in towards your body. So we're lying on our back. We have bent knees. We're going to go arms straight up in the air. Okay, straight up in the air with the weights. Click the weights together. And we're going to go slowly overhead with the weights, okay? Here we go. Slowly up overhead. Keep the weights in contact with each other. It just helps protect your shoulders. And you pull all the way back to the top. And back up overhead nice and slow. Last one. Good. Bring the weights in. Place those down to the side. Next up, we have a side line hip abduction. It just means you're going to lie on your side. You're going to straighten the legs out and bring the leg up and down. Okay? So, lie on the side. You can start on the same side as me if you want. You don't have to, but we're going to, I'm going to lie on my left side so my right leg's on top. Again, lift as high as you can without having to point the toe up. So, let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Up and down with the leg. Keep the toes facing forward. Towards the wall, not towards the ceiling. Good. Pause right there. Let's go to the other side. So you can try and face the other way. All right. Leg on top. Here we go. Lift up. Slow is good. High is good. Just keep the toes and the hips facing the wall, not the ceiling. Again, this is the third exercise of round two. This is called the dead bug. It's a core exercise. We want to do it very slowly, so we have to really engage our core. To do this, you have to pull the legs up off the ground. You put your arms straight up in the air, and then we extend out with the arm and the leg. And then we go to the other arm, the other leg. All right, so you can lie on your back. We'll go in five seconds. 
Let's lift the legs up off the floor. And here we go. Slowly arm and leg. Other arm, other leg. Forty seconds. We got ten to go. Last one right here. Go back to the top. All right, you can relax for a few seconds. You got one more round through. Last round through. We're gonna do the overhead pull over, so you can stay laying on your back. You're gonna bring your weights in. You can place them right in your torso. You're going to bend knees, feet on the ground. Let's place the arms straight up in the air. Click the weights together. And here we go. We're going to go up overhead nice and slow. Back to the top, straight to the ceiling. Slowly up overhead. Make sure you do these slowly. Faster is not better on an exercise like this. It's actually going to put more pressure on your shoulders. We want to do this slow and controlled. So the shoulders have less pressure and our core has to work harder. So keep your abs nice and tight if possible. You got two more to go. Last one. Okay, bring the weights in, place those down. Sideline leg raise. You can lay on the side. I'm gonna lay on my left side first, doesn't mean you have to. We're going to do our top leg. Toes and hips face the wall to start, not the ceiling. We really wanna close those hips. Take the top leg, here we go, let's lift up. Don't point the toe with the ceiling, we wanna keep everything going forward. Two more. Okay, let's go and face the other direction. Top leg. Here we go. Two more. Last one. Good. All right, we'll lay on our back. Last exercise, the dead bug. Dead bug requires us to pull the legs up off the ground. So we have some nice bent knees, but the legs are off the ground. The feet are up off the ground. We put our arms straight up in the air. You do an opposite arm, opposite leg. And then we do the other arm, other leg. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, last one today. Slowly with this, do it nice and slow. Engage your core, tighten up your abs. Keep the pace slow. Ten seconds. Last one right here. All right, good stuff. Good job, everybody. Thank you for coming to class. Enjoy your week.